Hello guys and welcome back to more Addicted on Football Manager 2015 on uh, the Force Nines YouTube channel. We're in a very, very good position in the championship. We're in third place. We're only three points behind Leeds who are in the automatic promotion spot. Uh, we have played 34 games which means there are only 12 games left. Today's live commentary is a home tie against Nottingham Forest. Should This is winnable. Nottingham Forest are down at the wrong end of the table. 19th place they are. Um, gonna go over some games that I played off screen. I did six again, I believe. My last, no, five. My last live commentary was a three-all draw away against Middlesbrough, uh, which um, was a bit up and down. Jackson with a double, um, so yeah, we were three-two up at one point, but then in Sui pulled one back for them. They made it three-three. So it was a good match, a good match for a live commentary to have a three-all draw. We've had some really good results in a. In live commentaries, uh, a fair few defeats, but victories, you know, at the start against Brentford and against Watford and stuff. We're going to do a recap at the end of the season, so I won't talk too much about it. Because uh, there's only going to be three more live commentaries. Uh, Nottingham Forest today, we're going to have a return derby against Millwall next week. And then we will end the season at home against Bournemouth. Now, unfortunately, because I've been I've been very busy this week and I've, I'm actually really really tired because I've been getting up at, uh, for work for six a.m. every day this week. I haven't had tomorrow Sunday. It's my first day off since New Year's Day, so it's been a bit of a mad week. And hence, I haven't been able to do my three of each say three videos of each save like I'd like to do. Hopefully, that will change next week because I do have a few days off. And then the week after that, I'm off for the entire week. So I can actually maybe get a good backlog of videos then as well. We'll see what happens though. Uh, I'm going to go through some games. So our last live commentary, as I said, was the 3 all draw against Middlesbrough. So let's go through the five games that we played since. Starting off with a home win against the leaders Norwich, which is a fantastic result. 2 0 victory here. Simon Church going to get a goal in the 20th minute. And then Frederic Bulo um, doubling our lead in the second half. Been a bit off pace recently though, he had a poor game last game and I actually dropped him for my most recent game against Huddersfield. But you know, the uh, guy from, I think he's from Gabon, um, is doing, you know, he's doing pretty well for himself. And yeah, I've got some players that are really hitting fine form at the moment, some which aren't doing so well, some which might, which will actually be going as well. Because I will not be renewing their contract, Taliban Haim being one of them. So let's go look at these two goals and look at the goals. In our other games, we have had a fairly successful few games. We did have a, a defeat against Wigan, but you can't win them all, as they say. So, go to a TV camera and have a look at these goals. So, the first one looked like it was a direct free kick, so let's just rewind it. Here we go. Frederic Boulot. Ah, here we go. So, it was with a free kick. It was saved by Ride, but he didn't hold on to it. Simon Church was the first one to pounce onto it, so nice. Rebound goal there for Church with his fourth goal of the season. I'd have liked him to have scored more, but you know, as a team, I think we're scoring a fair few goals. So that was a good one for them. And then the second goal came here. Frederick Bulo with the free kick out to Royce Wiggins at the left back. Godmanson with the, with the ball here. Finds Bulo and he puts it past Rudd. Bit of a poor display by the goalkeeper, really. But um, yeah, never mind. That's not uh, too bad for him. Uh, then we drew uh, Brentford. We faced them in the first live commentary of the save. Uh, had a 1 1 draw this time after beating them 1 0 on the road. Uh, we had a draw at home. Burulo scored again, 12th minute. Uh, and then we held on to that lead until the 64th minute when Brentford equalised through Proschwitz. I think that's how you say that. Um, yeah, we, we didn't really finish them off and we paid the price. They scored an equaliser. Probably. We had a fair amount of shots though, so you probably say, yeah, this may have been a fair result. Possession was fairly equal as well, as you can see, almost half and half. Um, and yeah, we had, you know, we had, they had a few more chances, and maybe you could have won the game. But you know, I think a draw is a fair result here. On a nice sunny day at the Valley, so Frank Musa has been had a lot more games. I've been told to drop him because there's better players apparently, but Frank Musa has been doing really well. And I think he's got his first ever goal for Charlton as well, or his first goal of the season at least. So this was our goal here, Frederick Bulo, the ball's gone back to defence and Morrison started getting a few more games. Seeing as Ben Hyam won't be uh, with the club anymore. So Joe Gomez and Onyebu have been my probably most prominent centre half. Joe Gomez is only 17 though, so I do play him a couple of games and he does need a rest. Because he's very low on natural fitness. 
Uh, Joe Gomez is a fantastic young player at 17, but his natural fitness is an issue, so he cannot play every game. You do have to rest him fairly um, often. Uh, so this is the uh, goal that made it 1-1. As you can see, we've got the ball here, and we're in Brentford's half. Um, we're just holding on to it. We're trying to move forward, but then we're sort of backtracking a bit. We can't really move forward. There's Frederick Brulo, and there's Chris Solly. And the ball is saved by the goalkeeper. So this is a very long highlight. I don't remember the goal because it was a while ago that I did this. What I've been doing is sort of get, continuing my saves off screen uh, like at night before I go to bed. But sometimes I'm just so tired I might fall asleep. I fell, as I fell asleep at half time in a game. So that's um, this wasn't this save. This was a different save I think. But I fell asleep halfway through a game. My computer ran out of battery and stuff. So that was the 1 1 draw there against Brentford. So, yeah, a point there. It was annoying, an annoying point. We should have won that, really. Uh, then we suffered defeat against Wigan, our first defeat since a uh, defeat against Wolves. So we lost this 1 0. The only goal came from Forshaw just before half time. Um, again, we had a fair number of shots. So maybe a draw. Maybe I would have liked to have got a point from this, but. Um, yeah, we just didn't do enough, really. It's looking at the um, at the match stats. So yeah, we had four clear cut chances, which is really annoying, but we didn't do anything well. So yeah, I'm not going to show that goal. It wasn't our goal. Uh, they made two very good results. Um, we were away again, a tough tight against Derby County, who were a place above us or below us. I can't remember which. Um, so this was a good result. Johnny Jackson with an early penalty, a controversial one apparently, but um, it's difficult to tell whether penalties or not are are, are actually penalties or not. It's difficult to tell in, in this game. Uh, Derby equalised through Leon Best, 25th minute. Uh, they had a couple of injuries there. Um, well, their midfielder Eustace went off injured fairly early on. They also suffered an injury to uh, Jamie Ward. So it was a shame for Derby. Uh, it was 1-1 and then in the second half... Barrow, our new signing from Swansea, getting his first goal. And then Vettikele getting back on the score sheet as well as first goal since um, before leaving for the Cup of Nations. So it was a good result for him, a good result overall. Bulo had a fairly poor game, so I decided to take him off. We brought on Barrow in just before the hour mark. And he, you know, he did very, very well and he got his first goal for Charlton as well. And he looks to be a great signing as well. So I'm really pleased about that. No, we had to make some sales to. Uh, we had to make a sale or two to um, to actually accomplish the signing because we didn't quite have enough. But I think it's paid off. It's been he's been fantastic in the games that he's played. He's had a few spells. He's had a few games on the bench as well. When he's come off, he has he has shown good spells. So that's good. So the first goal, of course, was the penalty, and then this was the uh, equaliser by the Rams. Uh, we're in our half, and Demi Zidou with a poor misplaced pass there. Zverevich finds Hendrik. And there's uh, Will Hughes, who came on for the uh, injured player early on. Um, Vermar came into this game. Chris Solly was uh, kind of still tired, so I decided to rest Chris Solly for this match. Um, Vermar didn't do too badly, but Chris Solly is in really good form at the moment. He just needed a rest. Vermar are, are signing from Manchester United, who was signed in the summer. Started off well, but you know Solly came in and he uh, started playing fantastically. So we decided. I decided. That he'd be my first choice. I have got them all on the rotation option, and he did ask about first team football. And when I said that Solly was in form of his life, then he sort of agreed with that and said, you know, he needs to wait until he drops in form before he can think about getting back into the team. So this was the equaliser. Leon Best pokes it in uh, at the near post. And the same goes for um, my other left back as well. Well, Morgan Fox is only 21, but he started a few games. And you know, he's, he's not been too bad. So I think we have some very good fullback options and we have some defensive options as well. Um, young and old. But I do think that my defence is, apart from Gomez, obviously, is quite old. We have Onyeru, who's like 32. We have Ben Haim, who's over 30. BK is over 30. Morrison's 29, I think. So I think we do need to sign maybe a couple of defenders in the next transfer window. Because if we get... They're telling me that there's like a financial problem at the club because uh, we are expected to lose two million at the end of the season, which is more than the less than financial fair play thing of three million loss. 
So yeah, a loss is expected, and we're down on our wages by about ten grand. But if we do get trans, if we do get promoted, we of course get that huge war chest that comes with a promotion from the championship, and we can really sign some fantastic players if we get promotion. Of course, once I get promotion, I won't be doing the save anymore because that's my goal for this. But there is always a chance that I'll revisit it and uh, see if I can keep charting in the Premier League. So that'll be something to revisit maybe in the future if I do get stuck for something to do just do another season with Charlton you know my Lazio save is different because I'm saying that I'm going to win Serie A that's like a three year job or, or even more Fred Kelly with the goal there his header hits the crossbar and goes in and there was a nice finish by the Angolan to make it 3-1 and that was a very good win on the road uh, and then our final game that we played home tight against Huddersfield made a few changes in this match so as I said Bulo came out Barrow came on. Um, I think the other, only other changes, I think Onyeru started instead of someone else. Solly came back in, people like that. Fred Kelly got a brace, uh, well, not a brace, but two goals in the first half, uh, either side of an equaliser by Majewski, the uh, Huddersfield player. Uh, and then, uh, so it was 2 uh, 1 at half time. And in the second half, Callum Harriet with this first goal for Charlton. He had a spell on loan at Portsmouth, has come back, started in the team, and he's been doing pretty well. And then Barrow with his second goal in as many games in uh, the second minute of injury time. And Vettikelli getting two goals here. He's had, he had a lot of chances to complete his hat-trick, but unfortunately didn't work out. Um, he stayed on for the full game, but he could not complete his hat-trick, which was kind of a shame. So as you can see, another seven clear-cut chances. So we probably could have had a, a big win here, but we didn't take all of our chances. So the first goal came from Vettikelli. Um... And this is Huddersfield pushing on here. That's Chris Eagles, I'm pretty sure it is. Johnny Jackson with the ball. Vettikele, well, Hudson wins the header. But Moose hits it back up. Vettikele beats the defender. Stands his ground and plays it past the goalkeeper. That was a good, good finish by Vettikele. And yeah, that's what I was talking about with Moose as well. He's in good form and he's creating assists as well. This was the equaliser by Huddersfield. Adam Hamill with the corner. I think I said before that Huddersfield have a lot of former Liverpool players. Or Liverpool loanees, even I'm not sure. But Adam Hamill used to play for us. Then they also have Jack Robinson and Connor Cody. And funny enough, as well, Suso on this game, on this save, is on loan at Norwich. He's also on loan at Napoli in my Lazio save, which is really odd. And our former players keep popping up. Mason Bennett, who a guy that I signed from Derby for Liverpool, was playing for Derby. Actually, interesting to see where like all these players that I have signed before. See him pop up. I'm just, in, I'm just wondering if I'm going to see Belanta at some point. That was Vettikele's second goal of the game. He poked it in. You know, a nice easy finish. Suspicions of offside, but I think he's well on the side. Uh, Callum Harriet with the assist. That, with the assist. Good. Uh, this made it 3-1. Demi Dezu with the free kick. Smithy saves it. And then Harriet is there for the rebound for his first goal. Um, first goal of the season. And then we completed our 4-1 route in the injury time. As I said, first minute of injury time. Callum Harriet with a free kick. Here's Frank Musa. Finds Vettikele. And then Barrow with a lovely goal. Lovely finish. So, yeah, he's been doing really well for us past couple of games. Modo Barrow. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, today's game, as I said, home tight against Nottingham Forest. Um, it should We should be winning this. Forest are in 19th place. Dancing with relegation, and as I said, in the championship, we're in third place. We are three points behind Leeds, even though we have a rather inferior goal difference. Um, yeah, a win won't put into second straight away, but we do still have to face Leeds, so we could find ourselves in automatic promotion, and if that happened, I'd be over the moon. To get automatic promotion after one season, finished in 18th last season, is fantastic. Just what I'd like to have got further in the Cups. So match preview, so it's going to be a 4-5-1 played by Forrest. I think we might um, go for that as well, or a version of a 4-5-1. Uh, I think I don't really need to make any drastic changes. Uh, Gomez is tight, so I will have to rest Gomez for this match. As I said, as I've said, he does need rests here and there. So I'll play uh, Michael Morrison alongside Onyebu. Uh, I'm going to keep faith with Barrow. He's been doing well. And Vettikele got two goals last time. So I'm going to keep him up front. Um, this is what I'm going to go with, I think. Uh, only need to make that one change. Um, yeah. So we'll keep that. Um, so let's go to the match. 
Okay, what are they saying? So a draw is being predicted by BBC Radio Kent. Nice. Um, no, no, I think we can win this though. So let's see uh, what we can do. So we need to do, sort out all our tactics and team talks. Pick up where you left off. Absolutely. I want a convincing live commentary win. Motivation, good. Let's start. So we need to change the camera back to 2D Classic. Here we go. Off we go. Uh, well, very similar colours, which is a bit weird. It's going to be difficult to tell them apart. I don't know why not in the forest on in a different kit. Five minutes gone, no shots yet, which is a good sign. We have the ball now. Here is Barrow. Where is Barrow from? Is he actually English? Mo Barrow sounds like an English name, doesn't it? Modo Barrow. That he is from. They ga oh, he's, Gamb he's half Gambian and half Swedish. That's an, odd na that's an odd mixture. Gambia and Sweden. That's really weird. Oh, his stats are all going up. He's only 22. He's doing really well. So that's good to see. Let's see if he can get a third goal in three games. Um, we've lost possession. Here is Friat. See how he does here. Antonio with the ball now. And the shot um, does not worry Stephen Henderson at all. Here's our throw. Chris Solly to Frank Musa. Here is Barrow again. And Jackson. Finds Vesicale. Here's Barrow. And he's... Well, the shot goes straight at the goalkeeper. But he did win a corner out of it. So that's good. Johnny Jackson's corner. Barrow, I think, went for the header. Yep. Header was not on target. Don't think head is in, heading is a strong point, though. So a couple of shots, uh, one for Forrest, so looking pretty good so far. Vettikele here, Royce Riggins, ooh, Darlow gets to the ball. So we're uh, posing a threat early on here. Ball has cleared as far as Chris Solly, it's gone on to Fryat. Here's Harry Arter, Jamie Patterson. Arter again, Cohen, Onyewu, good block, and it's come to Vettikele now. Callum Harriet. Finds Frank Musa. Can he get, can he get a ball away? He does to oh Barrow has skied it. That's a shame. Could have had another goal there, but he um put it well over from about ten yards out. Never mind. Royce begins with the throw in here. Here's Harriet. Here's Vesicale, and he gets it to Fox. Musa hits the post. So yeah, already we've had a lot of chances, but um oh, and Onyewu's in trouble. Looks like Onyewu took a bit of a knock. I've got Gomez on the bench, but he was tired as well. So I'm going to try and keep him on for as long as I can, really. Goalkeeper holds onto the ball here. Sends it up um, only as far as Michael Morrison. And Vettikele. I beat the offside trap here. Um, and, oh, he just puts it wide. We've had a number of shots, but they haven't all been on target. And Johnny Jackson's been injured. Damn. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Um, right, we will play Jordan Cousins then. So uh, hopefully that's not a bad injury. We have a lot of injuries at the moment. Well, I would I'd say a lot. We've had we've got a couple of bad injuries. So uh, Chuli is out for another few weeks. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Tukadine, our uh, other striker, is probably out for the rest of the season because he, uh, I think he tore a calf muscle or something. So um, Tukadine, I, I think he's going to miss the rest of the season. Sadly. Um, not been a lot of great football in this match, to be honest. Um, we've had a few shots on target, but we have missed. Well, we've missed more than we've uh, hit. And uh, Forrest have a corner here, and it's headed in by Hobbs, and it's tipped over by Henderson for another corner. There's been a lot of action, but the uh, football at either end hasn't been great. And there's Jamie Patterson uh, gets the goal for Norwich. For Norwich, Nottingham Forest, 45th minute. Not a great time to concede a goal. The stats are very, very equal, but it is a forest that look like they're going to go into the tunnel at half time with the lead. Unless we get something from this free kick here, we don't, and that's half time. And forest have a lead. Um, we haven't been good. You don't look like a team that wants to win, even though you are dancing with automatic promotion. Frank Roos has had a poor game. Def uh, midfield have had a poor game. Uh, but I don't want to make another subject because I've already had to make one change because of an injury to our to our captain which is a, a massive shame I think that has really helped though because we had lost Jackson for a while with the Achilles injury um, near the start of the season and I think it really affected our performances 
But since he's been back, I think we've done much, much better. And I think that's one of the reasons we find ourselves in the playoffs. Damien Dizou here. Can he get the ball away? Gets to Royce Wiggins. Here's Cousins. Holds on to it. Wiggins again. Hasn't got anyone around him, though. Oh, he finds Jordan Cousins. Here's Musa. Vettikele. Barrow. Oh, straight at the keeper again. We've had a lot of chances, but we haven't buried him. Can we get something from this? Here's Vettikele. He is uh, dispossessed. Here's Antonio. Uh, the ball goes on to Morrison. Dazu to Cousins. Doesn't pick up Barrow. Fox back to the goalkeeper, Darlow. Harriet and lots of space on the left. Finds Wiggins. Here's Dazu. Cousins to Musa. Harriet does not get the ball. Here's Onyeyewu. Back to Dazu. Barrow. Vettikele. Oh, another save. I don't know if this is our goalkeeper or if this is our poor finishing. Their goalkeeper. Oh, now Onyeyewu is injured, but he was. Oh, he was very low on. Damn, yeah, I forgot about him. Sorry. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to play uh, Buyans in defence. I don't really want to have to. Actually, no, we'll play Gomez. Well, yeah, Gomez and Morrison. We're going to have to. Do you know what? I comp I'm on honestly, I completely forgot that it said that Onyeba was exhausted earlier. That's uh, pretty bad on my part, actually. <laughs> Bit of an error. Right, Henderson's goal kick. Can we get something from this? I'm going to move on to... Uh, I'm going to go to attacking. And then if all else fails, I'll have to. I might have to bring on Simon Church or make some sort of changes. Henderson with the ball to Cousins. Here's Dizou. Vettikele to Harriet. Come on. Royce Wiggins now. Dizou. Still got it. Vettikele. Come on. Come on. Um, no, it's a free kick. Musa committed a foul. Barry's had a poor game as well, but we only have one more change. Harriet to Musa. Here's Vettikele. Musa again. Plays it back to Gomez. Why did he do that? Dancing with danger here. Uh, Fryat picks up the ball. No one got to it. Fryat just jumped on it. Here's Antonio. Patterson is intercepted by Solly. Here's Musa. Barrow's in lots of space. Can he close the ball down? No. Fox beats him to it. Vettic oh, that was an error. And Vettikele should have capitalised. But he didn't. He wins a corner out of it. Dizou with a corner. What happens here? It's come to, it's come to Vettikele. Here's Chris Solly. Past the hour mark. And we just have not really created enough. I'm going to make a change. Barrow's coming off. Bulo is coming on. We're still a goal down. And we really need a goal. We deserve a goal. But I would like to see their defensive stats. I mean, look at our forwards. Look, Vettikele with a 6.2. Musa with a 6.3. Let's see if Bulo can inject some uh, some passion into this uh, attack. <clears throat> All right, come on. Right, come on. Let's get something here. Solly. Dizou. Bulo. Come on, do something here. Vettikele. Come on. I oh, hit at the keeper again. Three clear-cut chances and five half chances. This isn't good enough. Jamie Patterson's free kick is at the wall. Here's Burke. Morrison to Musa. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to go to overload for the last 10 15 minutes and Vettikele. I'm going to change his uh, mentality because he was on target, man, and it didn't seem to be working well. Let's see if we can get something here. Bulo, come on. Dizou at the keeper again. Bulo keeps it in. It's gone out for a throw. It's half throw, I think. Yes. Right, 10 minutes left. Darlo. Oh, cut. Oh. God, if you can if you'd have controlled that, Callum, that would have gone straight in. But no, you just decided to have a pop anyway. 84 minutes gone. We're still a goal behind. I, I want a point at least. Come on. Royce Wiggins. Harriet. Wiggins again. Come on. Oh, Dazu. Get in there. Oh, side netting. Oh, God. Right. Instructions. Take more risks. Okay. Player. Sweeper keeper. Attack. More direct passes. Distribute quickly. That is what we're going to do for the last few minutes. Can we please get something from this game? 
Darlo, goal kick. That's full time. Damn it. We should not have lost that. That was not good enough. Absolutely. So, yeah, we lose ground on automatic promotion. We drop down to fourth. We're now six points behind Leeds. And that has put Middlesbrough just ahead of us on goal difference. Ah, oh, that's annoying that that's happened. That is really annoying. That's uh, Nottingham Forest who were nineteenth and we lost to them at home. It's silly things like that, that that could end up costing us. Johnny Jackson. Oh great. Train a strain knee, knee ligament. So Jackson will now miss Well, probably we're well, not quite the end of the season, I don't think. When's the last games? So yeah, he will he will probably miss the rest of the season as well. Which is a shame that our captain has been uh, plagued with injuries this season. As I said, he had an Achilles injury at the start. He missed a lot of games. But that's annoying. So, yeah, that's, uh, that was a shame that that happened. But still, you know, considering where we were last season and how far we've come, I'm really p proud. But, you know, I'd love to get promotion in one season. If I could do that, I'd be so, so happy. Uh, no, you're not having a professional contract yet. Regens are coming up soon as well in this game, in this save. So we'll have a look at those when they come around. See what our intake's like, see if it's any good. As for our next game, I'm going to play four games off screen. Cardiff, Blackburn, Blackpool and Reading. And our next live commentary will be a derby against uh, Millwall at the Den. Of course, our last derby finished with a home defeat 2-0 against Millwall. But the match against the Den hopefully will be different. And hopefully we'll, we'll, we will still be in the playoffs um, by next episode. Uh, I'm going to end this off here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.